Hey folks, Blizzard, welcome back to another Paul Masters video, and today let's talk a bit about my new favorite feature in the game, which is the Trainer Lodge. It, it's great, and not only, not only do you get to, you know, have really, you know, fun, cool interactions with some of your, you know, uh, sync pairs, right? You go on um, stories and whatever. Uh, that's all cool and nice, but um, outside of that, there's a lot of actual, if you play it right, if you play the Trainer Lodge right, you get massive, massive benefits in your regular game as well from this like for example i mean it's trainer lodge is the only way to get level 150 level caps right which are you know pretty nice stat boost etc right but also a lot of other great 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 rewards including you could get up to at the moment right and they're gonna add more every single month but at the moment you get up to like nine new free sync pairs which all of them are actually pretty decent right so anyways let's talk a bit about this so first of all to access the trainer lodge uh, you just click on that like icon at the bottom right of your screen shouldn't be too hard to find and then boom you're in the trainer lodge uh, fantastic so uh if you want these trainers to appear in the lodge first of all you have to invite them you can only have a maximum of five trainers in the lodge at, in there at once if you want to invite someone else you have to you know you have to cancel someone's invite and then you know invite a new one right again you only have a maximum of five at once um if you cancel their invites it, it, none of their stats get reset nothing happens it's just that you know they, they can only fit so many characters into like one screen right so which makes sense again if you want to you know, invite someone, just cancel one, and then invite them back, right? Again, no nothing changes. It's it's all right. So, anyways, let's look at the features over here uh, real quick before we go in depth about them. So, first of all, we have the scrapbook over here. Uh, so, the scrapbook, you could have photos, which you could obtain in at certain friendship levels. They will give you um certain photos there's two photos um so far right for each character and you have um these friendship stories as well which you could you know check out um they also get unlocked at different friendship levels there too and at the moment there's only nine sync pairs uh in the trainer lodge right eat one from i guess each like main like generation game i guess unova has two but it's like there's black and white and the black and white too which have a pretty different set of characters so it makes sense why Unifa has two right but all the other ones you know one from each region and again we're getting more characters every single month every single month we're getting uh, new ones right so yeah anyway so uh, for the ones that we have over here you do have to obtain like the base character first before you can invite them um none of these are super super hard to obtain right i mean blue you get one for free um when you start the game silver silver's a free unit uh you get from from the main main story legendary uh, event thing right may's a pretty old spotlight scout now cynthia's a really really old pokey fair scout and uh you know I mean, there's like a scout for her like happening up right now although i wouldn't really recommend pulling on it but anyways regardless uh she's pretty old right rosa's a free unit ends a pretty old um uh pokey fair scout as well sycamore's free lily's a pretty old spotlight scout and the marnie's marnie's not like a super old Pokefair Scout, but she's not like super new either. She's, she came out like what a year and a half ago. So, anyways, uh, regardless, um, it the amount of units you have doesn't really matter. It doesn't mean oh if you don't if you're missing out on certain characters you get like less rewards. Not exactly. Well, at least when you're when you are starting out, right? Um, because to get rewards you have to raise their friendship levels. And the process of raising their friendship levels is going to be very, very slow, right? Again, especially if you are first starting out, don't have everything set up first, right? And we'll 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 we'll, we'll talk about how to set things up later, but uh, it's gonna take a while to raise these friendship levels. So yeah, and there's only a limited inter amount of interactions you could do per day, as well. So hey, look at that cute thing outside. Anyways, uh, outside of that, um, you have obviously the interaction interfaces, right? With these characters that you get, you click on them and then you interact with them. Here's the expedition part. This is probably the most important part where you really want to optimize how you do these expeditions to get the most amount of rewards, right? To get the most amount of boost for your interactions. So your interactions, so reaching level 100 on your your friendship level is not going to take you like a year or whatever, right? But we'll talk about that later. Let's first talk about. Let's go through an interaction phase over here right now. So we'll we'll use May as an example. She's the one I'm uh, working on. Although I 
slightly regret it because I wanted to do Cynthia. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I, I like, I like uh, May and Cynthia almost equally. So, anyways, um, that aside, right? So, all right. As soon as you click into it, there's a few options down here. At the bottom, there's photos. Again, you could, it's, it's same thing as a scrapbook right it's just a quick shortcut to the photos for may specifically and then the stories that's again may stories specifically and then you have a chat which is just hey. random cool regular dialogue it doesn't do anything it's just they say some cool stuff and um i would always like to help out may all right cool um yeah it, it doesn't really actually do anything but at the top left corner there's a friendship level right so it's two out of a hundred right now um which is where i'm at and yeah every i think 100 exp right you get a friendship level here and then every single friendship level up you get 10 lodge stones all right these are guaranteed to get but every time you hit like a certain milestone like level 5 level 10 you get different rewards right for example level 5 you get 10 five star summon tickets right at, uh, or five uh 10 tickets and then at level 10 you get your first uh, day special day with may um part one and then you know you get some move candy coins so you just basically get some cool stuff every five um five levels uh again you get um your second day with me or or whatever character you know you're working on at level 30 and then you'll get a snapshot at level tw uh, 20 and then another a snapshot at level 40 and then at level 50 you'll start getting these these are certificate of excellence these are the items to increase your level cap for level 150. one certificate only gives you plus one level so you got to use them wisely <laughs> or just use them on your favorite character who cares right but you know it gives you plus one uh level cap right and at level 50 you'll get two level 60 you'll get two this is not the only way of getting these certificate of uh, excellence so don't think oh these things are limited because look how like how many right you, you well or how few you really only get because it's like what six um seven eight nine ten so you only get like ten from one character with the friendship level but again that does not really matter because that's not going to be the main way of getting these certificates right and then yeah again you also get some really really nice stuff like move candy coins um five star power ups right and then at the end at level 100 you get a free sync pair with the new unit uh for example may is you know with whalemer i did a whole video going through all nine of them you guys could go check that out in the, uh, in the channel I'll probably maybe link it somewhere right but yeah all these units are pretty good right especially since legendary gauntlet's a thing a lot of them are going to be really really nice uh just to you know have an extra body th to throw at the legendary gauntlet and uh some are actually really good but anyways uh that aside yeah that's what friendship level is for and you gain friendship level by interacting with the character you could also increase the friendship level cap with these items right uh so the bronze one star friend key gives your level cap plus one so it goes from 100 to 101 if you're running does this really do anything in terms of like the big rewards not really because your limited rewards right the one time you know level up rewards only go up to level 100 but the reason for these level caps right like the three star friend key gives it plus 10 this gives plus five is to get more lodge stones because do keep in mind every single level up you get 10 lodge stones right lodge stones are very very important uh, because they're your key they are your key to actually grinding level 150 uh level caps right um we'll just quickly look at look at the exchange over here so lodge stones you could either use them to exchange for dupes of the sync press you do need at least one of the initial sync pair so you do need to get them need to get them to level uh, 100 friendship first before you could exchange for dupes although i wouldn't really recommend spending lodge stones on dupes you just use like move move four star move candy instead which we do get a decent amount right i mean the game game gives them out for free like candy right and then outside of that here is where you want to spend them right you could spend lodge stones here 100 lodge stone gets you one certificate of excellence right so that's one level cap um so every 10 levels of friendship you could get one right basically and that's where you want to spend them you do not want to spend your lodge stones for anything else nothing do not none of this stuff do not spend them for a freaking elite four notes okay do not spend them for co-op sync orbs because those you could all farm in the main game in the training area with stamina that's where you want to use your stamina right you do not want to use 
your trainer loss stones for anything other than certificate as this is the only thing you want only thing you want do not exchange for anything else right do not please and then outside of that right uh let's uh let's talk about let's talk about the interaction let's let's go on an interaction right so here we go you start an interaction um so you have three interactions per day it seems um this is not like 100 percent confirmed but it seems like every reset you'll you get these uh you'll get three interactions back um and yeah you get three free interactions per day you could buy more interactions and we'll talk about that later but anyways let's start interact and then initially you could choose a location more locations will be unlocked right once your friendship level reaches higher initially it would seem like the friendship level grind is going to be so hard and slow it will get much much better later on once you optimize your expeditions stuff right uh but for the moment um it is going to be relatively slow but once you start getting your expedition stuff rolling again which we'll, which we'll talk about it's going to be much 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 better so let's just go to train lodge that's the only one we have uh at the moment and then you could choose a help item there's four different help items uh we'll talk about them afterwards right and then there's also presents that you could give uh again we'll talk about all those afterwards once we talk about the exchange shop let's just go on an interaction first so all right yes let's talk all right me what do we, what's uh, what's up what's up so uh at the top you see there's an attention it starts at 100 percent, right every time you do you know select an interaction with her uh she gains these friendship exps up here right again every level requires i think 100 exp unless the higher levels increase that but generally so far it seems like it's just 100 exp right so 100 points for one friendship level and yeah uh you could select to give a present if you have presents which uh, i don't have at the moment but those presents can be very very useful which again we'll talk about later but at the moment let's just pick a topic right there are certain topics each character has that is called a hot topic and i'm not a hundred percent sure but i think they change every time so it's not gonna be the character is not gonna have one hot topic for like forever right so i think they do change um but we'll see anyways so all right what topic should we talk about with me let's talk about maxi oh, okay. interested in maxi <laughs> she's okay it's interesting but it doesn't seem like it's very very interesting so that gave us five exp over there it didn't drop our uh the tension for me which is pretty nice at least right so all right let's see so maxi we tried so maxi is a character so let's try not doing characters this time because there's i think seven or whatever different categories right that uh interactions um uh, do come up with so so th these are the list of um or groups categories of uh topics it's either pokemon items friends hobbies fashions places or other so maxi was friends so it doesn't seem like friend was like her you know big hot topic i'm assuming so let's try something else this time um pokenaps is items castilla cones is items i want to say bandana is fashion let's try let's try fashion bandana over here she into that <laughs> super exciting that should be good right so last one we got five points this one we got 11 so that's much much better right that seems like it's it's much better so fashion at least is going to be super interesting to her so if we have like no other choices like between fashion and something that she's not really interested this time because the first time i actually did it with her it was actually friends right and this time it looks like friends is she's not really interested at all so yeah it does seem like her favorite topics change every time so let's see hmm gym badges pallet town casual clothes uh let's try pallet town pallet town should be I don't, I don't know if she's interested in pal towns though maybe let's try gym badges for items oh, interested okay. in items <laughs> excitement building plus nine that wasn't that bad but but as you see it did drop her attention if that attention goes below a certain threshold uh she will end the interaction right uh so let's see mm. hmm so we got items we tried items friends fashion right mm, pokemon contests that should be hobbies right let's try pokemon oh, contest okay. <laughs> other fourth one how much did that give us 13 okay hobbies is good here hobbies is good diantha we're not gonna pick that's friends right z crystals should be items we're not gonna pick that raising pokemon that's probably hobbies so let's try that again right <laughs> 
that's not bad at least um hairstyles scarves pokemon battles hmm i'm assuming pokemon battles in this case right hmm damn we still haven't hit the hot topic yet and our attention is yeah yeah around like 50 percent is when generally they end their interactions so we didn't get a hot topic this time unfortunately but how much points did we get? 61. That's not great. That was not very, very good. Because the first time I got like 130 something, which was like twice that. So that was not a very good interaction. Let's try this again. Let's try this again and see if we could get a bit better this time. Right? So it's mostly luck and you have to test it out, waters. But there are items that could help you with that, right? And, and again, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's try another one. Let's see if we just get a hot topic over here, right? Let's see. Let's start with... Let's start with research, maybe? That should be hobbies. Super exciting. How many points is that? 10 points is not bad. Uh, let's try uh, Petalburg City over here, which should be places. Change it in places here not as much not as much let's try hmm pokenavs should be items right oh, okay okay her attention is dropping pokenav wasn't that bad um let's not do regions Let, okay let's do archie oh may archie there we go that's we hit max vibes with that one right and let's see Wait, did region do better or did items do better? I I, I don't remember. Um, I mean, I remember region not doing like terrible. So uh, I don't think all, either of these topics are great because we don't have like okay. friends here, right? So in this state, you will get double the points. You're gonna get double points over here. Oh, Brendan's a good one. Brendan, that should be good, right? Oh, okay. Yep. Let's see how many points you get from that one. Thirty points from Brendan. Thirty points from Brendan, right? In the max vibe state, we got the hot topic. Double points, 15, 30. That's, we're at 90 now. And we still have 85% attention left, right? So yeah, this is a good good example of an interaction going relatively well, right? Let's see. Um, bandanas, battle attack tactics. Um, I guess we'll try bandana. Let's see if she's interested in fashion. <laughs> Super exciting. How much is that? 16. Wow, actually, that was even more than Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Professor Birch, maybe. Okay, that's good. 17, right? And let's see. The strongest trainer. How about that? Oh, okay. The strongest trainer. Oh, okay. Uh, this should get us to the range where she ends it after this one, right? So we're at 136. This is more than double our last interaction, right? I think, if I remember correctly. And let's see, let's go, let's go hairstyles, I guess, oh, maybe, okay. for the last one. <laughs> yep. So if you do well, again, these can be prolonged. 19 points on that one. 155. This is my highest so far. Because that's like, uh, weather's nice, just go and walk to. Cool, very cool. Um, Hoenn characters talk about weather. Look at that. Anyways, yeah, that's one and a half levels over there, right? So that's straight up, you know, from like level, uh, the end of level two to level four. So that's 20 of those. And I'm one more level away from getting our first limited reward, which is, uh, I think, 10 five-star summon tickets, if I remember correctly. And there we go. That's all my interactions I have for today, unless you buy more. Now we get into the real interesting part of this game. This is the expedition part. So to enter the expedition, just click on this thing in the middle back there, right? And so the expeditions, basically, right? What it is, is you have two teams that you could send out of um, initially three characters of each and they could find you things passively, right? This is literally, po this is what, what they were like trying to like advertise as Pokemon Sleep. We have, we finally have Pokemon Sleep. It's in Pokemon Masters, all right, <laughs> basically. So, uh, so you put three characters, initially three, you get more later. You put three characters in a team and then they will passively search for items based on the discovery level of that team right different characters give different discovery levels for different items so it's might this might this feature might seem pretty overwhelming initially 
but it's all right let, let me let me just go through this slowly so again there's a team a and there's a team b over here right let's just use team a for example team a and team b there are differences by the way but but let's not think about that first let's just lo look in this team so let's open up the team right uh team edit thing or whatever and yeah uh initially you only have three slots you could eventually get six slots right but initially you have three slots and if you look at your characters over here right every character has a expedition skill which you could see you know closely if you if you click on the new expedition skills uh list on their uh, sync pair details um uh interface right and for example del fox has soothing plus six if the cows theme times three so it raises your discovery levels by four if a team is formed with three or more sync pairs that share the callous theme so you get four soothing crystals if you have uh, or uh, four soothing crystal discovery levels increase if you have three callous units on your team right that's so uh, that's what serena does and there's only a certain amount of units that have these kind of theme skills well not theme skills <laughs> Ex, uh, expedition skills there's two different types is either these one to sixes that you see that Hilper and Steven and, and SS Leaf, these people have. And there's also characters that have these zero to fours, right? So the zero to fours is either you get zero levels or four levels. Um, all these zero, or four, uh, zero to fours are, at least in the game so far, they might have different ones in the future. So if you're watching this in the future, obviously refer to your newest, you know, updated, whatever, right? But generally zero to fours are all, either you get zero um, levels, increases or you get four right you'll get four level increases you have if you have three of the same three or more of the same theme skill units on your team and you get zero if you have m less than three so if you have like two or one or zero right i mean well zero wouldn't make sense because you, you at least have one with the character which is included and then the one to sixes are generally it's plus one with each you know character from this theme of this specific discovery level right again it maxes out at six once you get six slots but at the moment it only maxes out at three for those who haven't unlocked more than um three slots over here so um those are the like special sort of expedition skill characters and then you have like regular expedition skill characters over here um which are yeah they just give you straight up for example sophocles over here plus three yellow i'm not gonna call their names it's yellow it's gonna be yellow red blue and and chest all right let's just let's just refer to them as that so sophocles gives you plus three plus three yellow minus one blue right and for example uh let's see um norman gives you plus one red plus one blue uh norman gives you plus uh, not norman nolan gives you plus two chest minus two blue hilda gives you plus two red Cynthia gives you, uh, you know, zero or two chests, right? Uh, if you have three Sino units on the team. So, yeah, basically, okay, so what are these levels for? So, every time you go out to explore, right, there's discovery levels for f these four different things, right? It's either these red crystal things, these yellow crystal things, or these blue crystal things, or rare chests, right? They're called rare caches, whatever, right? And the higher level it is right again the, the level depends on what team comp you use right the higher level these discovery levels are the better rewards you get from that specific one right for example right now i have level 10 on yellow level one on red level two on blue and level one on these um uh the the chests right so that means every minute or second I'm not a hundred percent sure you know what what the what the intervals are for for discovering uh, items out there but like every whatever right there's a chance to get drops the drops depend on which level you get right for example um over here i only have level one fiery crystals so the fiery crystals or these red crystals i will get from these expeditions will only be from you know the level one category right which is the bronze one which is the weakest ones right i mean it's not the weakest. They, 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 they're used for different things they're used for, bronzes are very very useful as well as much as all the other ones right um i mean uh, remember the hot the hot topic thing i mentioned there's you could use bronze ones uh the there's the there's a hot topic revealer which tells you straight up which hot which is which topic is the hot topic for a character right and it can only be bought using bronze 
crystals, right? So, so th there's no like hierarchy here. There's just it's different, different sorts of crystals buy you different things, right? So yeah, level one only gives you bronze crystals, right? And only one every time. So if they do find one, you're only gonna get one um, of each. But again, it's it's you can accumulate, right? Like uh, it caps at like thirty thousand things, but you know it, it takes a while to to cap so it's like every minute or or you know uh every minute let's let's assume the intervals are minutes every minute you have a chance to get one of these bronze crystals and for example at level three you have a chance to get either one or two of these you know bronze crystals per minute right it's not guaranteed to get them though so if you're wondering what the heck why is level two and level one the same what's the point of level two then um this is not 100% confirmed because we don't have the exact data mine rates yet, but it seems like that higher levels give you a higher chance to drop the specific things, right? Even though it's the same amount, but level two gives you a higher probability of them dropping because again, it's not guaranteed, not guaranteed to drop every minute, right? So yeah, um, that's what I have for level one over here. That's why again, over here, I have level two on the blue ones. Um, the amounts are the same across all of these, except for chests. Chests are like slightly different. And then for example, I have level 10 on soothing crystals, which is the highest level you could get, right? No point going over level 10. Level 10 is the highest one. If you're going over level 10, you just switch your team so you could get like more levels on like other different colors, right? So yeah, highest is level 10, right? And um, this you you have a chance to get two of the gold ones two to three of the silver ones and at least three right if you do get any drops of the bronze ones at all it's going to be in threes right so obviously you know level 10 is going to be the best one um so yeah <laughs> i mean it's basically it so the chests are the interesting ones uh they actually give different things so again a level one to three you get bronze ones you only get you know every time or every interval that you search up a chest it's only going to be one these chests are very relatively hard uh, for them to draw like for example i know i only have like a level one chest over here but i also have like a level two chest on the other team right but like you know um in the around 12 hours or so that i've been playing this mode for i've only gotten like five chest drops so far right and so again, I've, I've only been playing on like level one, level two chests, right? So I haven't been going like crazy high level chests, but just, just to give you a bit of an idea, right? So these chest drop levels are much, much, much lower than the shards. Shards drop more consistently than the chest, but the chest can give you really, really nice stuff. At level 10, you have the, ch or at level seven, starting from level seven, you have a uh, chance to drop gold ones. But again, at level 10, you should have higher chance to drop, you know, all of these chests over here. And yeah you get a lot of really really good stuff for example in the bronze ones you get these green ones which these chests are the only only source of these green crystals so far or stones whatever you want to call them right S which are very very important because these are the things that you you use to buy more interactions per day right so these are very very important you can well, the only way to get them is through these chests right rare chest has one of each and rare chest also has a chance to drop a lot of these other ones as well right 300 of the silvers 100 of the gold ones they do not have however they don't have bronze drops so do keep in mind you can't just go like full-on chest then you don't have any bronze ones right um, but you will have a chance to get a lot of silver or gold or even the green ones right and some other stuff like five star summon tickets um three star power-ups at least in the one star chest right uh and large stones as well right which are very important and these friend keys which are very very expensive right so if you do get a friend key it's very very nice i don't think they're super useful right now um because friend keys really don't come in until you hit level 100 on a friendship on a character which might take months right so they're not very relevant but they're very expensive to actually get um in terms of like exchange because like you need like these like green stones to exchange for these friendship keys but yeah that's the one star one a two star one you just get more amounts you know 200 of these 500 of these and then 20 scout tickets and the four star power up instead of uh you know uh three star right and then you get the silver friend key here instead you get more lodge stones as well but also do keep in mind you can't get shaft in these so it's not guaranteed every time you're gonna you know dig up a chest there's gonna be something good in it you can have like absolute garbage in there which is like you know level up books co-ops and corbs or or coins and uh you gotta really pray you don't get any of these and so far of all five chests i've opened every single one of them have either been co-ops and corbs coins 
or level up manuals for me. I mean, it could just be a luck thing or maybe those things just maybe just have a higher rate of dropping, right? So don't don't expect to just go in full in chests and just be swimming in like the greatest rewards ever, right? Uh, but at gold chest, this is where you get actually like cr some crazy rewards, right? Five star power ups, straight up five star power ups, right? These uh, five star power up tickets, which you could exchange for five star power ups, you got 30 five star scout tickets, which is basically a five star, right? And um, yeah, and then crazy amounts of these gold or silver or green stones, right? You could also get these gold friend keys and then these lodge stones. All right, so now you're wondering, okay, we've talked about how to get these stones or whatever. What's the point? What, what, are, what are these crystals for? Well, that's where the exchange shop comes in, right? There's a lot of things you could exchange them for. For example, the green ones that we've talked about so far, which again, only really comes from chess, right? Three of each could get you one extra interaction per day. The amount you could get up to three extra interaction per day. So you could actually max out at six interactions per day, right? And these should refresh every reset as well, right? There's a timer on top, so you should get a chance to, you know, exchange three more uh, each day. So that should be like, what, nine of each green ones to, uh, you know, get three more interactions every day. Although, to be honest, it looks like it's going to be very, very, it's definitely going to be, it's going to be incredibly, incredibly hard if you're first starting out trying to get more interactions. And I would suggest not to go for more interactions initially because in terms of like the shop stuff, right? Here's the first thing you want to exchange before anything else, before all the other, you know, the interaction counts, before the you know, gifts, right? Before the cool items that help you, you know, or the level, none of the, before you do any of those, get more expedition team slots. This is the most important one. The first, you know, uh, uh, well, there's, you can get them out of order, but like um, the bronze, there's uh, number one, <laughs> I don't know what to call these, man. The one of the slots costs you uh, three thousand of each bronze ones. I mean, I'm relatively there. I'm I'm at like around one thousand for each, so I should be able to get this slot by tomorrow. I'm assuming, right? Going with my my strategy at least. So that will unlock you one extra team slot. Uh, two thousand of each silver should unlock you an extra team slot, and the one thousand of each gold should unlock you another extra team slot as well. And over here, you do have stuff that you could buy from coins. Let's talk about that a bit later. Let's actually, let's go, let's let's come back to this and we'll, we'll go back to the shop uh, later. So here's why team slots are important. As you can see, for example, my team right now, we can only get up to like, we can only max one out. And I don't have the raw data on this, but so far from just my experience and looking at a very, very small sample size of drops and stuff, right? I do feel like this is probably the better way to go. Just go level 10 on one, right? And I have level 10 on another color and like every six or so hours, I s switch them around. What's what's 24 divided by three? Um, eight hours, okay. Every eight hours or so, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll switch them around, right? I'll find the whatever the highest amount of shards I have right now, which I think should be yellow, right? 185, uh, 260. Oh, never mind. Red's the most that I have right now. Okay, never mind. So I guess I'll just swap out reds and then exchange them for like the lowest ones I have, which is probably blues, right? I, they're relatively close, right? But yeah. Um, but again, when you're looking at team comps, right? There's a certain amount. Um, if you're wondering why. I do have, even though I have no units in there, I do have like level two on reds, level two on yellows, level one on blues, and level one on um, the chest is, uh, I did use an item here, right? If you guys could see, there's an expedition items. You could use one every 24 hours, right? Each one lasts for 24 hours. You could buy these at the shop with just coins, just regular coins. So yeah, it's a hundred K coins over here right 100k coins for the omni extract that's the one i use which boosts every expedition level up by one right you do at least have to have like one character in there for like the expedition to actually give you rewards but anyways um it boosts all the expedition levels by one for 24 hours there are other ones which are one for each they all do the same thing which boosts the specific only one expedition level by two you can only use one of these potions at once right so you can't just stack them all in there and you know, spend a bunch of coins. No, no, no. You can only use one each um, at a time, right? And each one lasts for 24 hours. This one, you know, 
gives you plus two discovery levels for the yellow ones so it's either plus one for each or plus two for one specific one i went for plus one for each right because i do have the team comps to to get it done for like a level 10 right and if you're wondering where these level two came came from because you know isn't it just plus one team a has an, an innate plus one boost on reds and yellows and team b has an innate boost on chests and blues right so that's why i have plus two on red and yellows here and and plus one on blues and chess here without having any units in here so again here is where the the team building magic happens so for me personally the team that i built i could we could go over a completely separate video in terms of like the most optimal teams for 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 farming these which which we'll we'll go over um in a, in a separate video that's an entire topic this video is already going on a bit too long but uh, just in terms of simple one right this is what i build uh, have serena over here so as you can see serena right now has zero serena gives you zero because you need at least three Kalos units in there to actually give four right so let's go let's go find some Kalos units so serena specs and yellows right and and i'm trying to get level 10 on yellow right now um actually let's 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 let's, let's go for, for for a different one for for this video specifically um just just, just so you guys could see like a different team comp since i did the all right nate Nate over here gives zero to four reds, it's great right? To be here. So you need, done. we need three, at least three Unova characters in here, right? To, uh, to get that plus four on red. So that will give us plus six on reds. We, our goal is plus 10 on reds, right? So how much do we need? So where do you have plus six in there? Assuming we, you know, throw in three Unovas. So we need plus four reds. So we could either go for, um, two plus two reds right we could throw in you know ss grimsley in there and your lead let's like see a... uh this hillbird in there and then that all three of them all three unova characters in there activates nate's passive right which in this case plus four plus two plus two that's plus eight right and then the innate plus one and then the potion plus one there we go we have plus ten on reds or instead of that what we could do is uh we could actually do something else which is very very interesting and fun and cool uh which is we could do instead we could run chantel here because here's the thing the innate the like the like the potion plus one doesn't get decreased because chandelier over here has plus three reds and minus one blues but as you see the blue didn't go down because the blue that we have over there is from the potions the potion doesn't go down i think the innate does go down though i'm not 100 sure either one of them goes down but it seems like the blues didn't go down because the blue plus one we got from potions right so then now we have a plus 11 red so we don't need plus 11 red so instead of that we could get like an extra plus one on another color over here um since I guess the higher one is 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 um, yellow, so we're probably gonna go for yellow here. Also, if we do actually pick a um, plus one red, plus one blue, it's gonna be level one because Chantel does, you know, get minus one on blues here. So let's go for level three on on yellows, which is gonna be a plus one red, plus one yellows. There we go. Roxy fits the bill, so we still have plus three or, or plus ten on reds, and then boom, we have plus three on yellows over here as well. Again. You will get much much better and and more expansive uh, ways of doing these right higher levels on these discovery levels once you start unlocking team slots which is again in my opinion highly recommend the number one thing you want to buy with all these shards before anything else is more team slots more team slots right so at at, at six team slots you could get two level twos of or level tens of two of two different colors right so uh, if you have if you have the units right so eventually you will be able if you once you unlock six team slots to have you know level tens on two of them over here and then level tens on two of them on the other team right so you could have just level 10 of all of them going on at the same time you could also double up on one specific one like for example if you want to double up on level 10 chess right i do think that's probably the way to go in and in, in late game but we'll talk about that later at the moment i don't think that's the way to go though um but but again we'll talk about that in a separate video going over you know um exp expedition you know optimal strategies or whatever or at least what seems to be optimal at the moment um so these units at over in the back you can interact them interact with them sometimes they will have like this cheer thing on their heads right which does also 
if you just if you do see that click on it i haven't seen any yet i don't think anyone has seen any yet at least from the my, my friends that i've interacted with so it'll have it'll give you a 20 or it'll give you a 12 hour effect which increases all discovery levels by one so it's like an extra omni potion gives you plus one all these all the discovery levels only last for 12 hours right so those are really really nice so anyways let's uh, let's collect some rewards because i do have some to uh collect right so yeah that's a pretty decent amount right that's a pretty decent amount let's uh let's see what we've got over here this one's we spec mostly on blues right so 45 of the gold blue crystals that that's pretty nice right that's pretty nice all right now let's go over all these exchange shop stuff again we've talked about the team slots these are the number one thing again in my opinion you should probably go for right um yeah I'm, i think i'm a fourth of my way on the silvers i'm almost half on my uh you know bronzes and i'm not really close uh on on my golds right but uh, yeah those are those are for expedition stuff and then if we look in interaction one we talked about these these just give you an extra interaction count again these only drop from chest which in my opinion you should probably not be going for you should probably not be going for interaction counts first because again number one you want team slots right and for what does team slots have to do with buying expedition uh or interaction counts well first of all to get interaction counts you have to spec on you know chests right which i mean if you spec like one chest not not that bad or whatever and if you get lucky you get some from the it's fine right but the reason why i feel like you probably shouldn't be using these is you want to buy you want to save those green ones because they're relatively hard to get right you want to save the green ones for when you're done buying all these new team slots and you could have free you know freed up um bronzes or or silvers to to also buy these gifts right or 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 items that you could use in the interactions which helps your interactions a lot for example this insight spec which costs 100 of each bronzes which again if you're trying to go for team slots first which you should you should probably not be buying these inspects specs first right but once you're done buying the buying the bronze team slots for example the bronze doesn't really get used for much it's like for the bronze gifts and either for insight specs or these dig it up shovels and then same thing for silver silver's really only used for these boost juices and feel rings right and then yeah so that's 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 where you want to use them for insight specs this reveals the hot topic of the interaction right so we don't have to guess you don't have to guess it just reveals to it it reveals it to you right but the thing is once they get revealed to you it's not guaranteed that you're gonna like get the the hot topic in every conversation right that's where the other items comes in right um boost juice for example gives you ensures max vibes when you select a topic that max maxes matches your guests hot topic during an interaction so when you actually do select an, an interaction with um with the character you're interacting with it's not guaranteed to give you max vibes which is the the double points thing right so this one makes it so that as long as you select the hot topic you will get max vibes with uh, the character you're interacting with. So this is very, very powerful. Dig it shovel, which attention drops are reduced by two during an interaction. The lowest number this can drop, uh, this drop can reach a zero. So again, every every time you interact, well, not every time, but you know, sometimes when you interact with the character, their attention, you know, span drops, right? And using this shovel would make it so that the attention drops aren't as bad, right? So they drop slower. It, it drops slower, right? Uh, it seems. And then this last one, the feel ring topics that match your guesses hot topics will appear more often during an inter interaction so using this feel ring with a combination of the boost juice and insight specs make it so that you know what the hot topic is the hot topic will appear more frequently and every time you select the hot topic you're guaranteed to get into the 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 uh, the the max vibes state. It's a very very funny phrase. I know. Bear with me. But you're guaranteed to get that. And then dig a shovel also again it makes it so that every interaction the attention span drops aren't as bad. So on top of that, you also have these presents that you could give. Right? As you guys saw, there's that gift option, and these different ones. Uh, I mean, uh, different characters have different ones that you have to give them to. And there's three levels for each. They all do the same thing across different characters. Uh, there's just like different multipliers, right? So the bronze pendant restores attention by 10. So you give 10 attention back, which is very, very nice. And it refreshes topics. So for example, you know, if you don't see the hot topic over there, 
um, uh, displayed in front of you. You could use one of these to refresh the topics, right? And then also multiplies friendship points earned by 1.1. Uh, so you get a multiplier on the friendship points that you earn over there. And the good pendants, the silver ones, restores attention by 20, refreshes topics as well, and then multiplies friendship bonus by 1.3. And then the gold ones, which actually requires like 1,000 of these and like one of the green ones. So the gold ones are actually really, really expensive. I feel like probably the silver ones are, might be the way to go. Although the bronze ones are pretty cheap, but like otherwise, yeah, I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see once we once we actually start getting this going, and we'll find out maybe what's the optimal ones to go for. Again, this is just a this is just a intro guide to the you know training lodge, not full extensive, right? Um, awesome pendant. That's the gold one. Restores your attention by thirty. Well, not your attention, the the character you're interacting with by thirty. Refreshes topics, and then multiplies friendship points earned by one point. Five, which is a huge 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 multiplier right so this is why in my opinion you probably shouldn't be buying interaction costs uh, accounts right now you should only again personal opinion right i think you should only be really spending um your green which is our relatively hard to get right your green stones on those interaction accounts once you unlocked all six of these teams and you could start getting like some really really high level just dis high discovery level teams going right like multiple level tens on one team and then you could start farming these crystals more efficiently and by then you won't have uh, any more like massive uses for like these bronze gold and and silver ones because these are the biggest costs so far right in terms of uh these right and then you can start spending them on these you know presents and items so the value of your interaction count that you get here is higher because if you're going in right now with you know an extra interaction count and then you don't have these extra items to boost your stuff it's just not as worth it right and again you do not want to buy those items before you get all these team slots right you want to get these team slots first and foremost before anything else right so yeah that's why i, I don't really recommend getting interaction counts right now if you do have the stones you could just save them for later once you have your maximized you know out your teams all out there six units out there digging all day <laughs> um then then you know it makes it more worth it because you could use the extra gold silver and bronze crystals to buy either gifts or these items to to help right so these are friend keys these are very very expensive right it's like three thousand golds and 30 grains for like a for like a silver one and like 30 of each grains for like a gold one that is incredibly expensive again you really won't be using these at all Right, I know the banner you could pull for them, but like they're I don't really find them very very useful at the moment uh, Because they don't do anything until you at least reach level 100 with one of you, 100 friendship with one of your characters Which as you guys see is very very hard to do right so don't worry about these too much These are like super 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 end game and also I feel like it's just not really worth it man in comparison when like chess could drop you these Right, there's a chance to drop these uh these keys and and i've had friends already drop these keys from chess right who spec in chess so it doesn't seem like they're impossible to drop and like it's just yeah like that these might be like the most valued um stuff in here because i mean it costs you so much but uh they're also again not very useful at the moment they're only really useful late 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 game right so anyways I think that's all I've got to say right now, right? We again, we're gonna do a separate video on like the most, the, the best teams, right, for these expeditions, which uh, we could talk a bit about later. But hopefully that helps you guys understand the Trainer Lodge a bit better, right? Again, it's pretty simple. You set out expedition teams, you get items from these expeditions. You sit, AFK. Look, we've just been sitting here talking, and we got like 31 more stuff, right? Oh, I got a chest. I got a chest from my level one chest over here, right? Let's see what it is. Oh! Oh, I got a green one! I got a green one! Look at that! Oh my goodness, from a from a one-star chest. <laughs> so yeah, um my personal plan is just to rotate through level tens of the red, um, yellow, and blue ones until I at least unlock the bronze slots, which again should happen sometime tomorrow and then after that maybe i'll like spec one into chests and then because i do have an extra team slot right and then uh we'll, we'll uh, i'll still gonna keep on going for the colors because those are more consistent right but uh, i do feel like maybe late game it's probably gonna be best to do double chests and then you know like a double 10 chest and then one 10 color and then another 10 color right 
but but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll we could get more insight into that once we get more data on on how these work. But yeah, anyways, that's me this one. I guess I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Let guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy the videos for our channel for some more Poem Masses content. Uh, have fun with these. Again, they're going to be adding new characters every single month. So I think the next one's probably going to be Karen, right? So there's that. And yeah, have fun, folks. Um, this is, this is gonna this is gonna be a bit of a process, but you know, hey, people always complain. There's nothing to do in Masses. Well, there's something to do now. <laughs> I love I love this feature so far. It's so so fun trying to like figure out the like best teams. And best way to grind these things. I'm 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 a big fan of grinding stuff. If you're not, then you know that's fine. But personally, I love this. Anyways, um, have fun, folks. Uh, again, I'll um, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Found it helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, the music rocks.